So if you're looking at getting brake fluid for your vehicle, you might notice that there are two options, a DOT3 and a DOT4. And you might be wondering, what's the big difference between the two? So uh, brake fluid is held in the brake fluid reservoir here up in your engine bay. And over the lifetime of the just driving your vehicle around, or they usually say to change it about every 30,000 miles. So in between that time, um, there will build up uh, moisture inside of the reservoir and brake fluid does not do well with fluid or with uh, water. So with water being introduced inside of it, it's going to change the boiling temperature of the brake fluid. So, uh, and the boiling point is gonna be very important considering brake fluid usually gets pretty hot um, because it's going to be stopping your vehicle. So it has to have a very high boiling point. So if you get a DOT3, it's actually going to have a lower boiling point. So they usually use those in like passenger cars, vans, things like that, because usually you're not doing like extreme hauling or towing or anything like that with a smaller vehicle. So again, the DOT3 actually has a lower boiling point, but it has, actually has a better um, absorption rate. So it doesn't absorb water as fast as DOT4. So that's why you actually don't have to change your brake fluid as much with a DOT3 fluid. So now a DOT4 fluid is more for trucks that do a lot of hauling and towing where that needs to have a higher boiling point. So the DOT4 has the higher boiling point, but it also absorbs water faster as so you're actually going to need to be switching that out faster than the DOT3. So those are your main differences between DOT3 and DOT4, and they really suggest not mixing them. So if you're ever doing a fluid change, you can like, if this is a DOT4, you can empty this out if you flush it and put DOT3 in it, it would be okay, but it's usually not suggested. Just don't mix the two together.